All right, folks, so this is requested by my teammate Blake. He wanted to see some Gideon tribal action, uh, so we're going to give it to him. Um, the land base, we got Field of Ruins. We've got uh, some gemstones, some ghost quarters, a couple horizons, a whole ton of planes because we are mono white. Um, we did swap out the two Condemns for two Metatides as requested by him. Uh, four paths, two Bless Alliance, three Journeys, four Mind Stones. The Gideon of Trials, Gideon Adelaide Zendikar, and Gideon Jura are our Gideon package. We've also got four Settles, four Wraths, one Cast Out, and one Secure the Waste uh, for the main deck. In the sideboard, we've got the Rest in Peace package with three of them, uh, four of them. Two Stonies, one Cast Out, four Ley Lines, three Dampenings, and one Secure. So, seems like a pretty fun deck. Let's see what we can do with it. I don't think they're. I don't think we're ready for this Gideon Tribal deck, to be honest. So. so, if we're against any creature based deck, this hand's solid. Uh, against everything else, pretty rough, but I think this is good enough to keep. Energy based deck, huh? Yeah, it's just going to be our... Hmm, do we want a path? Not really. They're going to get a land. So let's see if they get an Azusa. Because this should be Amulet Titan. Okay. Ghost Quarter seems pretty good. We can Ghost Quarter their Simic Growth Chamber. I think we'll... Hmm. <laughs> Do we care about... I don't think we care about pathing the Sakura at this point. I mean, honestly, we just care about hitting the Titans. Mana Tithe could definitely get them. Here is Mana Tithe getting them, unless they... have a basic land. Okay, they can pay for it. We should have mulligan. Are they are they stream sniping us? Definitely have a whole lot of lands. No, I don't really care about that. EE for four? Sure. Not mine stone. Okay, let's run out a good father. Elder Azusa.
Mm-hmm. Alright, they got one card in hand. Tell them to play a real deck. I think they're supposed to tell us to play a real deck. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. We can zero start swinging for six. Um, plus up, prevent an attack. But I think we just want to zero. Start getting in with the beats. two creatures on board. I think our plan is to just wrath the board and then we're just going to zero them. We can hold up. We got two paths and a blessed alliance here so I think they should have a pretty hard time taking us out. I think we can afford one path being burnt on this plant here. Just so we can get more damage in. You think we should uh, <laughs> tell them they should have mauled? That's kind of rude. Yeah, this is the only one that doesn't have indestructible. So, uh, I think they pretty much need a drop. We got this. No issue. The good father. Okay. We definitely want to bring in the damping spheres. Maybe the cast out here. I don't think we need to secure the waste. And let's see what else... I think the Journey to Nowheres aren't great either because they're going to be at sorcery speed. So I think this is the package we want to bring in um, just to slow them down and take out more of their threats. So let's get it going. I really do think that. I think settle the wreckage is good against them because if they swing with their um, prime time with their package um, with their full buffs on it, we can just get rid of it. Um, if they do, the, if they're doing the three uh, through the breach package in there, that will be rough. This hand can accelerate out of settle, so I think that's fine if we just get one more land. Why do you think we should leave the secure in race? They're dropping a Zeusa here. It'd be pretty bad for us. Yeah, they only have. Yeah, I don't. I don't disagree though. We don't need that many Wraths in the aspect that they only have four Titans. But at the same time, we want to make sure we hit them. You know. Okay, so they should be able to power out a Titan here if they have it. And hit us for 18. Oh no, they don't have a Titan then, if they're going to start right now. Man, we really could have used the land right there. Not good, not good. All right, we gotta ship it. Gotta hope that way they can fade another turn.
All right, with one amulet, they should only be able to deal us um, 18 points of damage, plus the Azusa for 19 points of damage. If they go for the Teleria business, Um, hmm. One option we have right now is to have a Hail Mary to get the uh, sack the mines and see if we can get a path in response to their Teleria West because they're going to go get a pack to negation right now. So we're not going to get the path, I mean, the uh, Wrath off anyway. So if we get a path exactly right now, I think we can stay in this game. Otherwise, I think we're just dead. Nope. Yeah, we're going to concede here because uh, they are going to hit us for 8 this time and then kill us again. So uh, kill us the following turn with those axe. So I don't think that was an issue, honestly, of having uh, too many wrath. It was an issue of just not hitting a land there. If we would have got a land there, we would have been able to wipe out their Azusa the turn earlier. Or we would have been able to wipe out the Azusa in the prime time. So I, think that was, I don't think that's an issue of having too many wrath. I'd rather have the wraths than not. Oh boy, this is uh, just like the other one. We have to hit a, a planes here, but we're going to keep it. Woohoo, we did it. And the thing got going on. Don't have an amulet. So I'm okay with that. I think we're gonna have to hold up saddle the wreckage for quite some time now though. We can put them on a relatively fast clock. Uh, we can activate getting and just start swinging, hold up the settle. Okay, they're not going for the kill because they don't have amulet. So we gotta hope they don't have a pact here. We're just going to make a token and pass it over. Yeah, 
We're swinging at Gideon. That's Hilario. Also, Viridian Fountain. Okay, we got a double block so we can keep our Gideon. Token and pass it over. Packed. That's rough. Drop a prime time. Two Teleria West, we can't even destroy one of them in response. I think that's game. Do not want to block. Draw a card. And ship it back to them. I think they pretty much have us locked out of the game now because they're able to just change Hilario Wes into exactly what they want. But right now that's just 8 damage. 
Okay, give it double strike, and then we'll try to do this. They'll counter it. No, oh, I want to go through. Okay. Got a Gideon. <laughs> Tireless tracker. What kind of nonsense is this? Did not see that message ahead of time, Reese. Uh, that would have been a good call to Ghost Quarter the Haste Land. Prevent that tracker from attacking. Looks like Gideon's being attacked by a trial or tr trial and tracker, so we will block the tracker with our uh, knight here. They're gonna give it double strike, I'm sure. Or just clack a clue. That's fine. We could use another raft. I'm just saying, Blake, this, uh, this mana tithe would have been pretty good as a condemn. I'm just saying. Oh, that's pretty good actually um, that stops them from casting anything um, all their lands just all their dual lands become colorless so that's pretty solid um, we will want to cast our Gideon alive Zendikar first drop the stamping sphere And they're going to counter it. Nope, they're going to crack some clues. Oh boy. Let's prevent the damage from that. Prime time. And let's make ourselves a knight. And we'll pass it over. to get uh, the Wrath spell or Big Daddy Gideon right now. If we can um, get either of those, we can take care of their board a good bit. Right now, we can keep chump blocking their tracker. And then Gideon's just going to take one every turn until we can deal with that nonsense. On the plus side, they should turn off all their packs. 
because they only have one blue source right now. I know, if that man of tithe was a condemned Blake. <laughs> We'd be so good right now. They're gonna pack for another prime time. Alright, we really need a wrath. <laughs> Uh, cause we can't keep up with another prime time right now. Come on, deck. Give it to me. What are they gonna copy? It's interesting they would copy a Simic. To me at least, I don't know, it's just colorless mana. Oh, I guess they're just gonna return, uh, return either hub, get more lands. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Either hunt makes blue as well. Oh, that's not good. They just gave it haste and vigilance. So prime time is gonna be able to kill something. Do we want to kill? If they go for, for killing us, we can jump block the tracker. <sighs> jump block the tracker and then they'll live. They can kill one of our titans or they could... Oh, they can just kill us. We're just dead. No, we're not dead. They can only aid us. All right, Gideon's allies and cards being attacked by the prime time. The other Gideon's being attacked by the track of the prime time and the Azusa. Uh, so All right, so the double striking prime time, I mean the haste trample prime time is going after the ally. This one's going after Gideon, this one's going after Gideon, this one's going after Gideon. So we're just going to chump block this tracker here. That one's going to die. Erg. We really need a wrath right now. Mm, give it to me. I don't have a wrath. Okay. Um, can we stay alive? We can get rid of the double strike clan. And I think if we do that, we can stay alive. They have packed one there. Look, man, don't be a bummer right now. We're done. This is over. We're so dead. Why would they do this to us? It's so rude. <laughs>
We obviously should have gone for the mill package. Alright, everything's on us. <sighs> Block here. And they give that Titan double strike, and then we die. That's too much. Too much. <laughs> yeah, if we had any mill effects, we could definitely deck them. But, uh, you know. They were down to like 13 cards, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, we could have we could have got there. That's so close. <laughs> That's like the thing with Amulet Titan, though, right? Like, once they get their... Uh, once they start getting their um, prime time swings, like the game's just like over because they can keep getting to Larry West to get more packs um, to keep you out of the game or to get everything they're looking for. Um, so it's just once they get that initial swing in, that's really tough to keep up with them afterwards. So, oh, okay. Well, that was uh, match one. We're on to the next one. And uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. We're on our second league for the night. We uh, did some Thalia Stompy earlier. And we are on to um, Gideon Tribal right now. So we're playing some Gideon Tribal tonight. And uh, I do try to stream every Sunday night and Wednesday night from 6 to 10. So thank you, everybody, for joining. And we are 0 and 1. Uh, we have one loss so far. Uh, we just lost the Amulet Titan, so. Alrighty. I kind of want to keep this just because of the mana tide. Is that bad? It's not terrible, right? Like, that's, that's a reasonable thing to do. <laughs> I'm keeping this. Uh. Let's see what they got for us. I just really want to manatide someone. I don't even know the last time I manatide someone. I'm in. <laughs> oh, and we got the planes. We're so good at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's get a Gideon emblem going. <laughs> Teague. Well, we will deal with that Gaddick Teague with our journey. And then we will make ourselves a Gideon. And start swinging. <laughs> Guess what? We got another one. Um, what do I think about the, uh, the banner restriction list? Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Like, everyone's been talking about Faith Saluting, uh, right now pretty heavily, so. <gasps> Are they about to Coco? Oh, what Leaf Lage. Okay. Uh, we will counter that. Oh, we're a monster. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be any changes, though, to be honest. Uh, I think they're going to give Faith Slitting a little bit more breathing time before they make any changes, because uh, I think any sooner is going to be just... Uh, it, it's just not worth it. 
for them to make any changes right now. Um, there's the potential for the London Mulligan to come into play, so. They're gonna path our Gideon. What kind of monster? Okay. Um, I think I want a Field of Ruin, their Overgrown Tomb here. Get them off that black source. And then I think we're good to ship it after that. Oh my gosh, I gotta path this one too. And a Fenza, okay. And a Thalia. Okay. Um, we're gonna draw a card here. That's pretty good. And I think we're going to Ghost Quarter there. Gavany, we don't want their creatures getting out of control at this point. go Mindstone into the Bless. So yeah, let's hit this Thalia. So you want to build a deck for around um, $500 to $600. Um, I think the first question would be, what kind of deck do you enjoy playing? Oh my gosh, I said another Thalia. Okay. So we got a little punish there. They're about to deal some damage to us. We got a wrath. Because I think that uh, the, the biggest thing for any deck you're going to build in Modern, uh, the number one thing will be um, whether or not you're going to enjoy playing the deck. Because you're going to be playing these decks for a while, so you want to make sure you do enjoy them. Because um, it's not that easy to swap decks around. I mean, it is easy, but because usually it's people will pick up cards they do move fairly well but so you enjoy control decks or decks that have a slower game plan um, okay so we're gonna avoid anything that is you know more of a combo centric thing which is just fine So, I guess the, yeah, the next question I'm going to want to ask you is, um, are you okay with building a more budget version of the deck to start with and, and build towards a more serious version of the deck? Or do you want to just automatically go for the, the full complete deck right away? Yeah, I definitely agree with Thursday as go as right now because... Um, it, it is that is a big factor you're going to um have to get used to every deck in modern and start learning them because there is such a wide pool of cards to pull from um you can build a control deck like you can probably build a budget version of like the azorius control deck um if you want but i mean a standard azorius control deck is gonna run you for a little over a thousand dollars Let's see, they're on a... I think the only thing I really want to bring in here is the Secure the Waste. I think that's going to be pretty solid against them. Uh, 
yeah, I, I don't disagree with you. It's going to be rough without it, but I think you can trim a good section of it um, by going a more uh, maybe you can't pull pull off like the the three to four jaces or the two to three teferis or whatever you're gonna pull, but you can go with like one teferi, two jaces, um, go lighter on the fetches. You may not have to you know be able to build like the surgicals in the side right now, um, but you can build a good portion of the deck going a budget way. So I, I don't think that's unreasonable. Um, Blue Moon is also a um, my friend's playing that right now. They're playing a Blue Moon, Breach Moon uh, deck, and I think they're having a pretty good time with it. I think our main deck's actually just pretty good against them. I don't, I don't really want to cut anything for that secure, so I'm just going to run it back. Uh, we're in a one lander here, so we're gonna have to mull. Uh, this lands Rampy into a Wrath and Gideon. I think we're okay with keeping this, and we're gonna keep that um, that journey. Now, Mono Red Prison um, is fine, but that's also gonna be a very specific play style of deck too. So, if you don't enjoy that play style, I would I would avoid it. It's the deck can get um a lot of people can hate on you for it so that's just one thing you have to be careful of okay got a teague i think we're just going to ramp here and we'll ship it back So we need to ramp, but we also need to journey away that Gaddic Teague if we want to play Settle. So I think in order to prevent more damage, I'm going to go journey here first. We're going to take out that Gaddic Teague, and then we'll ship it back to them. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's rough. They're going to Night our during our journey here um i started with when i first came back to modern the first deck i built was tron and uh, scape shift so i thought you know i i like more ramp style decks and try to go over the top i'm also a big fan of always pressing my opponent making them answer what i have going on we need to draw an answer right now <laughs> don't oh what we could really hmm. if we can play uh, if we can get something to answer this Gaddic Teague. Nope. I have to pass it back to them when we have we're gonna go to one here. other cards are really going to answer. Well, we already have everything we ha uh, need to answer those Thalias and those Gaddic Teagues, so I think we just play it as is. Okay, I think this is fine.
the deck that we were playing earlier tonight, um, you, you know, you can build one of those taxes deck actually for a pretty reasonable price. They're pretty um, intensive on the player, so that's one big factor if you're okay with that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I think they're very hard to play. Um, and you have to know the format really well, too. So it's a pretty big burden on you as a player. I don't think we can pass that Thali here. We have to save our paths for the Gattacteagues. This does prevent us from playing... Um, Gideon this turn, so. If they take the path, that's well, we can't really do much about that. Um, if they drop a get a Teague afterwards, so if they take a Gideon, that means we have less to worry about. Going to get their Godless Shrine. Here, I'll take the two for one. journey that siege right now because if they might have autumn us here that would be pretty rough so i think we're just going to path it and why don't we feel the ruin their canopy take a draw away from them and then we'll pass it back Sure. I think at this point we're most likely just going to be journeying that on our turn. ship the back. Thought seizing us. Kind of settle for two here. Or three here. Get a threat on. Get some threats on the board. They can take one of our two wrath effects. 
Yeah, that is a very good point, Thursday, for you, Torrential. Um, if you can hold off until um, Modern Horizons, that's not bad because that should influence the prices of cards a good bit, which will be very good for uh, for you. Okay, we're going to have to... Let's draw a card. We're going to have to hit this Gavany. We can't get their stuff out of control. And we're just going to have to ship it over. Oh, that Anafenza. Okay, we really need to draw... A way to deal with fatigue right now. Otherwise, this is going to be game here pretty soon. Oh, that's interesting. Do they have a removal spell? We, I think we have to do this block. Yep, they have a removal spell. Hmm. Oh, we're going to ship it back over to them. creature <sighs> if you enjoy burn i think burn is really cheap to get into and i think it is very reasonable deck to snag right now it's a solid deck to play and you won't be struggling with it a ton until the format changes um, and it's still going to be a relevant deck after the format changes Right, let's ship it, see if they only attack with Anafenza, and give us an extra turn as a result. Cool, looks like that's going to be the case. And that's a mana tie. <laughs> ah! Once again, if that was a condemn, we'd be still in this game. All right. Oh, we are not doing hot with this deck. 0-2. Oh All right, let's get the third match going. Yeah, I think Burn's a great spot right now, and I don't think it's very expensive to snag and get your hands on it. Uh, looks like it's about $700 on uh, MTG Goldfish. And a good chunk of that is just because of the fetches that they chose. They went with the Scalding Tarns. Um, which are very expensive compared to the other ones you can snag. So I think you're going to be able to build that. You're going to be able to snag that for the price you're looking for, and it's going to be a complete deck. And we're going to ship this hand. Um, this hand's a little rough. Um, I think we're going to keep it. And we'll keep that on top. We're going to gemstone. And we're going to get rid of our Gideon Jura.
the other big upside of playing Burn is it's, it's going to make you a much better player when it comes to combat math and counting damage, which people definitely underrate Burn on it's a, uh, how complicated that deck is. So I think you'll be set. All right, we got a white source, which is good. Let's see if we can resolve this Gideon. It feels like a spell pierce. Oh my gosh, it's not. <laughs> I don't think 33rd is anything to come brag home about. Uh, teammate Andrew got second. That's much better. But yes, I did get 33rd in the regionals. But. I am excited to play more of the modern events. I'm going to be at, um, actually someone found me from the stream. I am I was so excited to actually meet someone from the stream. and uh, They were very happy to see uh, me play Tron. So that's a big shout out to them uh, for coming up to me. I really appreciate that. Oh, you did? That's awesome. Congrats on top eight, and congrats on the invite. Oh, nice, you're the prison fire. They're gonna click us. We are gonna path their click. They can have us keep a mind stone. Yeah, our team made the drive. That was quite the ordeal, to be honest. We got stuck in that uh, really terrible snowstorm, too. And they canceled the last day of the uh, event, so. I'm actually wearing my uh, SCG Khan uh, Roanoke uh, hoodie right now. Had to get something to remember the trip. They got. Okay, they're just going to plus that. I was scared that they're going to Tucker Gideon. Alrighty, I feel like our Gideon's going to go away here, but we'll try. Yep. Yeah, I've I've stopped trying to look at uh, magic as a break even business. I I just look at it as the the hobby I spend money on nowadays cuz it uh this is a terrible hobby. Like it, we spend so much money on this game, right? Like it's ridiculous. Between like building decks and like even outside of the building decks, like you, you have like the accessories. So you have to like sleeve them up, double sleeve them, deck boxes, gear, travel costs, food costs, entry costs. Why do we play this game again? <laughs> Okay, Wrath here. Not great. We're shipping it back to them. Okay. 
We're so losing this game. They got a Tefri that's about to alt. We can kill their Gideon, possibly, but they're drawing so many cards here. Because we're all masked, the love the feeling of disappointment when we scrub after six hours. Yeah. Yeah, like, you, you have to, like, take, like, top four or top two in certain events in order to even uh, um, make money or break even. Oh my gosh, we're about to get our third Planeswalker. We are so dead. Like, the other, like, th there is no reason to continue this game, so. Alright, what is good here? Secure the way seems solid. And then we definitely want the uh, cast out. Um, hmm. We can bring in the rest in pieces for their snaps, I suppose, and their Iskanta, but... Yeah, I feel like GPs are just pure crap now. Like, I used to go to GPs all the time when I first started playing, and they seem solid. Like, I'm taking off the journeys, bringing in the cast outs. Um, I don't really even want the other journey, but... I don't really want the rats either. We have a lot of cards I don't want here. Yeah, like I don't I do not feel like our cyborg is set up very well for this matchup. Like Leyline can stop what? Jace uptick and um Vendalian click triggers, but that's not worth it. Yeah, I... you could bring in the damping series to slow them down, but that's not going to do much to slow them down. I guess it's better than nothing, though, because we're not casting multiple spells and wraths are pretty bad. So let's do that. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, standard right now either, so I'm not playing arena. I, like obviously, I'm just playing uh, modern here. Hmm, this hand's not doing much at all. This hand's really awkward. We need one land, but after we get one land, we can chain mind stones. This hand's pretty. But this is just pretty bad. Okay, we got lands and a mana rock, so we'll keep it. That mana tide's gonna get them though. Yeah, no, I, I don't uh, think that standard's not fun. I'm just not into standard right now, I guess. Um, I want to get into it, but I don't know. I, I played standard for the Invitational, and I got punished pretty bad there. I feel like. I'm going to rush out the Mind Stone here, because if we get a Gideon, I want to be able to cast 4-drop Gideon, I want to be able to cast it. And I don't think they're going to be playing anything on turn 2 with that mana type should be held up for. <laughs> yeah, I do hope they do something about the current uh, like I feel like the SEG events are really the only ones that are worth going to
Yeah, Thursday. War of the Spark must be like the worst thing for you ever with 36 walkers coming out. If they drop a 4-drop walker here, I'm going to ghost court our own land to get a planes to mana tie them. I just want you guys to know that. Tension sphere. How rude. Are they gonna hit our Gideon? Okay. Well, we're gonna draw a card. So take that opponent. And we're gonna draw another card. And I guess we're gonna run out of mana rack. We got to manatize them. This match was worth it. Manatize the Jace. Get some. <laughs> uh, I'm good with life. I don't even care if we lose money in this. <laughs> Can we seriously stop drawing just lands and mana racks though? This is this is getting ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh six cards and I feel like those are like six really relevant cards in their hand such as a Teferi I this match is over oh all right we'll play these last two <laughs> league matches but oh wow Yeah, I did actually wish they slowed down on the whole Planeswalker thing. I got so burnt out on it. Like, every single set, everything seems to revolve around the Planeswalkers so much that it kind of just, like, watered down the storyline for me. And it, it made it very, like, it just wasn't enjoyable as much. Uh, Gorb Batron 75 wanted us to play this deck. And I was okay with it. <laughs> But we are, we are not doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Every deck seems way better when our opponent plays it. Uh, I think this is fine. Uh, Ghost Quarter. I don't think we need it. I really just want to hit some walkers right now.
Blood Gas and Blood Gas. Okay, our opponent's on some dredge action. So let's just ramp and try to hit a really good settle. Double can flag. Okay. Let's run out of Gideon, make ourselves some 2 2 Knights, and pass it over. I think Planeswalkers are only the essence of magic because they force the situation. Like, I think there's a, a lot of still interesting stuff going on with it. All right, they're going to come flag, and then they're going to take out our Gideon. All right, so we have the option of double journeying, journey away the blood gas right now um which does not seem bad because we're um that should mess around with their ability to bring back anything later on anyway so They are getting zero dredgers. Pretty cool for us. But we are not getting any plants. Corn. They're hitting some more lands. They're going to loot. All right, they finally hit a dredge effect. Hit another imp and they hit a loam finally. Narcomiba. But no amalgams.
They just hit one amalgam. I mean, I think I think it, uh, overall, though, Wizards has to keep experimenting with new designs and pushing the envelope on stuff if they want to keep the format fresh and interesting. Don't have a land to get with that blood stain. How joyous for us. All right, path and a settle. I think we're just gonna go on the Gideon beatdown plan at this point and uh, hold up the settle and the path, see if they have anything relevant for us to hit. I think I'm going to want to emblem with Gideon here because if we take out all their creatures with Settle, they're going to have to burn their Conflag um, that's left on our Gideon. Um, and once we uptick, uh, once we emblem it, we can keep upticking it and see if that's going to be enough to keep them off of the, um, off of the ability to kill us. Because if we can get another Gideon, they're not going to be able to. Are they still dredging here? They got 12 cards left. They have to be careful. Yeah, they're bidding the two amalgams. They got nine cards left. They dredged the dark blast? No, dredged the alone. And then Dark Blast. Let's see what we draw, but I'm pretty sure we're just going to Gideon Emblem and pass it back to them. Don't need the Wrath right now. Because I'd rather just settle them and take out any creatures they may have, including that like Blood Gas, I guess. Have them bring back everything. Yeah. There we go, opponent. Hit us. I should grow a beard. I don't know if I can grow a beard. This is like this is like the extent of my facial hair. I guess I trimmed it earlier today, but there's like that awkward stage between growing a beard that you like have to like let it grow out and like it doesn't it like I, I, I want like I wanna go to like full beer mode right away. I don't want to like have that in between phase because it doesn't look professional, unfortunately.
Plus, the other downside of that girl beard uh, is that I'm going to look like a full hipster. Not that I'm, I, I like, I'm pretty much a hipster. Like, I sit around and I want to, like, drink craft beer. I think they're realizing what kind of predicament they're in. Because they swing at us. We're about to settle them out of this game. Mm, they're doing a partial swim. So, blood gas. They got one more blood gas in the graveyard. We are being attacked by one narco amoeba and one amalgam. I think we can just... Fleet path. One blood gas. Once we get rid of the last blood gas in the graveyard, they're not going to have any way to bring back these amalgams. I guess we can uh, we can wait another turn by just pathing the blood gas, and then letting and then Gideon will take one, and then we'll take four. And they're gonna dark blast their own blood gas. Okay, that's fine. Same result for us. They return both blood gas here. That would be pretty good. Nope, they're gonna decline one. Bring back the other. They're gonna hard cast creeping chill. Haste on the blood gas is good for them now. If we wrath this turn, they're going to be able to play a land, get back both blood gas, and kill our Gideon. So I think we just hold up the settle here, and let's just uptick on, on Amalgam. And we'll just plan on settling them. the gun flag. Are they creeping chill us again? Yeah, they are. Whew. Please swing out, opponent. Please swing out.
I agree. I think I should have done that. Ghost quartering the Blood Crypt would have been good, but they... I believe they still have a loan in hand, so... Just gonna pass it here. There is a very good chance we're on a mill thing right now. They're down to three cards, folks. Ooh, they're gonna hard cast a prize to Malcolm from their hand. <laughs> I still wanna just settle them. Is I think our best plan. Um, so I'm just gonna uptick and pass it over. They're gonna attack Gideon. They can conflag it for two exactly. So we're gonna settle here. Ha <laughs> ha! Got there. All right, we wanna bring in the rest in pieces. Which will be great. I'm not opposed to the cast out either. Hmm, I think the Bless Alliances aren't great. I don't think we need to secure the waste. Journey seems solid. I wouldn't mind just getting doing that, swapping out the secure the waste, two Bless and two Wraths for four Rest in Peace and a Cast Out. Maybe not the Cast Out, because it just hits one thing and exiles it, but the Wrath just, you know, We'll keep one wrath. Okay. Yeah, I do agree uh, wrath is awkward. The other option here is uh, ley line, right? Because doesn't that hit creeping chill? And they won't be able to conflag us. Nope, never mind. It doesn't hit creeping chill. So Leyline would only be hitting Kun Flag, so I don't think that's as worth it. Um, I'll go with your judgment here, George, and we'll take out the two Wraths. We'll, we'll keep the Bless Alliance so we can gain the life. So. This hand seems solid. We got turn to rest in peace. We got mana tithe and a path to deal with some stuff as well. That's pretty sweet. Hmm, I think it would be worthwhile to path 
the blood gas right now because we're gonna be rest and piecing it next turn so then we're just gonna be taking damage for no reason anyhow so Okay, they're gonna nature's claim it. Push out. So we can either rush out a Mind Stone and hold up the Mana Tide, but I don't think the Mana Tide is going to do very much at this point just because they have 4 mana already. So let's just push out the, the Gideon. And let's uptick Gideon on this Narco Amoeba and then we'll pass it over. Um, and then next turn we can also play Gideon the Trials and start on that plan. Yeah, they do have both basics, so unless they're on an odd list, that this should be it. Our ghost quarters will be able to do good damage to them. Oh man. Little kind of flags in the graveyard. It's okay. We did slow them down a good chunk here, so. Alright, I think we're just on the the Gideon plan, obviously. And we're just gonna. I th would like to emblem, so it's gonna make their life pretty awkward. Hmm. Nah. They're not really in a position to stop us, so let's just let's just get the beat down going. Hit another loam and a con flag. And a faithless. Faithless can see if they can get things going. A chill and a Neba and a Malgum. So we have another one one and they'll bring back their Malgum. run out of mine stone. We can either clog up the board and keep swinging, giving them more time to build up. Ghost quartering them seems relevant too, so we'll want to make sure to do that before it's their turn. Just to choke them a little bit our mana to make sure our mana tides are relevant. 
if we do swing out, that amalgam can kill our Gideon ally, so let's just keep making the tokens with this Gideon. And we'll swing with this one. Stopping. What does our opponent have for us? Kung flag for five on our Gideons. How rude. Mana Tithe can't stop it either because I got two mana available. I think we have to let it go. And I think Narco Amoeba is going to kill it in the sky. We're going to draw a card, see if we can hit a path. Nope, but we do hit a rest in peace. Okay. So we'll double block that, take out the Amalgam, we'll lose one Knight. And we will drop this Rest in Peace. And see who wins this race! I'm gonna play the other one quite yet. I don't think there's much need for it, right? Ghost Court of that Copper Line Gorge! I mean, strip mine. I'm sorry, George. Strip mine. You think if we play this rest in peace, they'll concede? Nope, they did not. I apologize. I apologize. It is strip mine. Oh man, they got another mana source. He has arrived, the kid. Ha <laughs> ha, we won against Dredge. Yeah, yeah, they drew lands instead of drawing five cards like they normally do. <laughs>
Yeah, I think this deck is uh, slated to beat, like, tier decks. So if we verse, like, different things, we're going to struggle with it. Although, I don't think this deck would ever beat blue-white control. Like, just how that matchup played out, I just think we're always going to lose, no matter what. Good thing that's such a small percentage of the meta. Alright, let's see if we can pull out some points. Go 2 3. Okay, we're gonna ship this hand. Sure, we'll keep this hand. Land on top, we'll keep it. Alright, we go against any creature deck. We got them. Plus, this mana tithe on turn one. You hear this, Gorby? This is just for you. This is just for you. They cast any spell, we're mana tithing. I do not care. That mana tithed. <laughs> Got him. Please tell me that was their only creature. Please tell me that was their only creature. We got them. Their hand's just a bunch of instants and sorceries with nothing to do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they can't stop us now. <laughs> I do wish we stopped drawing lands, but you know what? This is the sacrifices you have to make when you turn, get to turn one mana tide someone. Dab? I'm not dabbing. I am not dabbing. <laughs> That is, that is not something I do. I don't even know how to properly dab. Nor would I ever want to learn. Alright, I'll make, I'll actually, I'll make you a deal, George. If I win this match, I will dab. If I win this match, I will dab. Until then, not happening. Alright, we're still drawing lands. Just... Land go. Quality magic. They got a phoenix. But we have a path. Oh, I should have played the canopy so we can draw a card. It doesn't matter. We're just going to draw lands anyway, right? Swiss Spear, okay. Guess we're taking one here. I will not concede. Ah, uh, yeah. The Gideon. Your Swift Spirit's gonna do nothing. Now, they ritual spliced onto it. What will they do with all this magical power? I think they're going to storm off and we're going to die. I definitely think they're going to storm off and we're going to die now. Light up the stage? Into light up the stage? 
We're definitely getting storm. This is happening. Ooh, into a faithless. Ooh, my faithless is being so cast. Like, how many grave shots could they honestly run? They, they have, there's only one in the graveyard. You think they're running the full four? Or do you think they're just running, like, maybe two? Like, they're reasonable at two. Okay, okay. They drop Niv Magus and a Manamorphose. Oh, you think they're running fast in flames? That seems reasonable. There's a grape shot one. It's targeting us. Are they going to try to kill Gideon? I hope not, because that's our good father. Well, they're all at us. There's another grape shot. Don't bolt us. Don't bolt us. Oh, they, they have no cards in hand. This is great. <laughs> We're alive. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna draw a card here. We got a path. And we got a Gideon Jura. Okay, okay. So we're going to Gideon Jura. We're going to Emblem. And we're going to make all of them attack us. <sighs> we got this! We got this with the Gideon! <laughs> they didn't respect it. They didn't respect it! Sure. Okay, it has to attack there. I think we just let it hit the three. I think that's fine. Alright, we got double paths. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so we gotta kill them as fast as possible, but we also need to keep our Gideons alive. So I'm going to have to just keep upticking this Gideon, I think, is our best bet, because they can keep looting here. Um, and we need to just make sure our Gideons stay alive, so we're gonna wait a little bit longer before we go on the kill train. Like, if they double swing here, I think we'll just settle. Yeah. Has to attack our Gideon. And we'll settle them. So, I think we're going to keep upticking with this Gideon, and then we're going to turn this one into a creature. 
Just in case they get any hasters that has to attack and they for some reason get past all of our paths. Right, they do have to double swing. Yes! We got there! We got there with the Gideons! <laughs> Oh, okay, so we're bringing in the Rest in Peace. I mean, uh, the Damping Spheres for sure. Um, I think we bring in the Ley Lines as well. And I feel like this has the potential for the Rest in Peace with those Arc Lights and those Faithless Lootings we saw. You're right, Gorb. We uh, definitely had a just a two swings to kill him if we did swing with both. I guess I was just being overly cautious for no reason. I don't think there was any reason not just go for the double attack because having I don't think there was any way they could kill both uh, Gideons. I think I want to take out the secure. As well as the cast out. Yeah, I am your teammate. You have to deal with me all the time. Um, I think I want to take out the the wraths here. Cuz that like the ley line seems super strong against their bolts and their uh light up this uh any kind of like nonsense they have with shooting us and grape shotting us. Damping sphere seems super solid. I don't know if we, like I don't know if we need the rest in peace here. Well, we gotta cut one more card though. Do we? I mean, th there is the option of us cutting the mana tides, but we saw what that did. I, I don't think it's a bad idea to cut them and uh, bring them back in on the play. Like we can cut both mana tides, bring in one rest in peace, and uh, I think I think let's rock it with this. And then when we're on the play, we'll bring back in our mana tide to get them, because that's what it does. It gets them. Okay. It's got a ley line and a path. I think we'll keep this. <laughs> I feel like we need them on the play. I don't think we need them on the draw. Plus, yes, corporate do we. I gotta make the cuts and no one else is willing to. Manamorphos and a land for them. I think I want to power out this mind stone. Because I want to see if we can drop this Gideon next turn. Opponent is a car. They should have used Niv Magus. How else are they going to beat us? Like, what's the point of the Niv Magus in your deck if you're not going to use them? Use it now. Nope, I didn't use it. Coward. <laughs> yes, he cannot block any warriors. <laughs> I think the I think Emoto is messed up. See, he's missing it right there. 
elemental coward. Oh wait, can Niv Magus get all these counters off the stack? Oh my gosh, is that a thing? <laughs> I didn't realize that's how that worked. Oh man, <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, we're about to take a lot of damage. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man! Okay, we're gonna jury away the device and pass it to them. Uh, obviously we should have passed on turn one. <laughs> Alright, if they cast any other spell here, we die. Yep, we're dead. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're bringing back in the mana tides, okay? Take out a rest in peace, and we'll take out a Gideon ally of Zendikar. What was that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so Niv Magus, have to kill it. Too much of a problem. Should we even keep this hand? It's gonna go past journey, but we don't have a mana tithe. We don't we don't have a mana tithe in this hand, folks. Uh, we can deal with their creatures. So hmm. I think this is fine. Um, because we're gonna be able to get up to Gideon uh, by protecting it with the journey and the path, so I think we'll keep it. No, this is a reasonable hand. We have to we have to keep this hand. I think we're gonna journey this one. Yeah, the ley line doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. Like, it's somewhat relevant because of the Grape Shot, but I don't think it's that relevant. Light up the stage. They hit two mountains. Okay. Two desperates in the grave they've been. <gasps> We've got a mana tithe. Alright, Mind Stone, hold up mana tithe. Pass! Good father cometh. Oh man, they are burning all of that to kill Gideon. Okay. Alright, let's draw a card. Nope, nothing really of worth. 
I'm gonna run out the damping sphere here, pass it over. We can either crack the mind stone or path something if we need to. All right, they had to blow everything. Uh, we are so pathing that. We are not having a repeat of last time. I will not die to that card again. He returns, the good father. Is this a concede? Is this a concede, Gideon? I don't know. I don't think they're ready for this. Ooh, they're bolting it. That's where they're at in life. I gotta bolt the Gideon. Ho 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 ho! Good father cometh. Boom! Boom! We got there. Uh, unfortunately, that means you guys get no dab. Zero dabs are happening because we didn't lose. 